social than um, entry in front of a ghost we should be, according to the information we have, Crassus Dennis. However, this also has dusky pectoral fins that we haven't seen on um, other individuals in other areas, and that makes me wonder if there might be yet a different species. And it caught a glimpse of the other fish that we saw, and I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> So, you know, yeah, there's another fish on the right as well. Yeah, there he is. Right there. Is there a crab him, maybe, or something like that? Yeah, this is a, a genus of cuspio called Pictocrastidum. It's deeper body than a lot of the others that we see. Um, and uh, the pelvic fin rays aren't as elongate, so they're not really obvious. Uh, but uh, it has a spine on the opercle, a uh, fairly distinctive animal. Well, that we can see the pelvic fins actually there. Uh, just those little thread like things underneath the throat that we only see. Uh, so, Pictocrasperum, there's a uh, species in Hawaii, Pictocrasperum armata, but there are other species in the genus, and uh, we're not sure uh, what species are here in the Phoenix Islands or the Hawaiian Islands. I'm seeing several white dots on this fish. I'm not sure if they're some sort of ectoparasite or something else. Yeah, all over the head you can see. It's sort of undefined, but there is a, there's actually a parasite on one of those pectoral fins. Looks like it's dangling right off of the pectoral fin. It's type of an isopod parasite called a nathid. So we do see uh, some of these isopods, small and large, and uh, this is a different type than what we've seen so far. The nathid parasites are known to feed off of the blood. Oh, there's another one. Behind the eye. Like, maybe. Behind the eye. Oh, wow. This fish looks like it's been through a rough time. <laughs> Taking a closer look at this. I wonder if it's a type of leech, actually. I don't know, it looks kind of nondescript and smooth, although maybe 